morning. We are in northern Michigan. Like, here's Wisconsin, then there's Michigan on top of Wisconsin, like that far north Michigan. Uh, very snowy outside, it's nice inside. Working on a meridian. We're gonna do a lot of good work on here. Uh, let me show you around. So, taxi light covers, pretty standard. Um, we got a lot of staining and oxidation on this airplane, so. In between the VGs, you can see it looks like some sort of cleaning solution has accelerated oxidation on the paint. Um, you see it's kind of a spray pattern, so this is why we don't advise against spraying on solutions. Always better to spray on a towel and then wipe. Same up here. Very dull. So this is where you get a lot of that exhaust. Um, on this side, on the wing here, we got a lot of holograms. So this looks like it got buffed very aggressively at some point. So you can see that. There's the usual staining down here. So we can, we can usually reduce that, that won't go away entirely. And then I'll show you one more place. Top here, it's just dull and lifeless so we got a lot of oxidized paint to remove so my supplies haven't showed up yet so i'm using some soot master to get this all cleaned up the directions for soot master say spray it on liberally wipe it off um, i'm not a fan of that because what happens is when you spray it on like that yeah that looks cool but look you see how that's running so that's going to run down to your belly and you see it's dissolving all of the exhaust it's going to run down, it's going to redeposit it on the underside, um, and it's going to dry up there, it's going to cause paint issues. We can see this on the belly, all over. Um, also spray marks like that on a hot surface can cause other paint issues too. So what I recommend, instead of doing it that way, which uses more product to be fair, um, this way you just spray some on the towel, and then come and clean. If you're not happy with how clean it is, just do it again. If you're still not happy with that, call me and I'll polish it up for you because at that point your standing is going to be in the paint. You notice this color difference. Um, this is older paint than this. So you can clean this all you want. It's not going to look the same. Now there's some staining in this paint that perhaps a paint correction we can take out and we can more closely match these two halves. but. This is um, probably when they did the window or something, they may have repainted this and this is original. So that's why we have two shades of white. Now for this awesome spot here, um, it is so incredibly dirty, you might as well spray some on there and soak it. So I literally just told you not to, but we're gonna work in a very small contained area and I'm not gonna let it drip to places where I can't wipe it up right away. So um, we'll just do this half here and uh, let it marinate a little bit. This towel is pretty much saturated now with exhaust, so I'm gonna go rinse it out and come back and get the other half. Now if any of you noticed how spraying up on a surface like that and not wearing safety glasses isn't the greatest idea because of all the potential dripping, um, I, uh, I, I got an idea. Let's put some of the Soot Master in a foam bottle and lo and behold, haha, foam. You're welcome for that one, clean. Just doing some R&D for you. The more interesting part of that, of course, is that we can soak these vortex generators in foam and give it a little bit more dwell time to really eat away all the built up exhaust layers.
spot up here uh, to show you. I've been in some test areas and actually the whole other side of the plane's already polished, but I didn't show that. Um, this pad, hyper polish, higher speed, a little bit more aggressive polishing is knocking off the oxidation and staining really well, and it's taking out a lot of those swirls and scratches. So we're getting pretty good results, and because this paint is so hard, it's finishing down as well. So there's really no need to go back over it um, to take out any marring. And since we're not using a rotary, there's no holograms put in there either. So um, this is turning out to be a pretty good method. So that's definitely something we can work with. Um, it uses up a lot of pads. I got a lot of dirty pads sitting out. So luckily there's a sink in this hanger. I can wash out the pads and uh, keep on cutting. But yeah, I'm just gonna push on through. So the other side's polished, gonna get this side polished and then um, get up there, get that polished. Wings, underside coating. After paint correction and a little bit of touch up, panel wiped the whole airplane, get the polishing oils off and we started ceramic coating. Ceramic coating is going to make it much easier to clean and it's going to protect that paint from exhaust staining, UV exposure, um, UV oxidation, harsh cleaners, all that good stuff. So this wing is going to be a very interesting case study in different um, techniques that I'm going to have to deploy. So we got a few things going on. Up here on the dark section, we have some, I'm going to call it etching. It, it looks like water or cleaner etching. Um, we have deep scratches, possibly almost looks like crazing or at the beginnings of clear coat failure. So a lot of damage in the paint here. Um, we have partial panels that have been repainted, not repainted. So up here, the back half has newer paint than the front half, so there's a big differential in how that color looks. Um, of course, meridians, we have vortex generators, and um, it, it's a pretty dramatic change before and after paint correction, but I'm gonna have to get in between those suckers and get those paint corrected as well. So a lot to do on the wings still. Um, the fuselage is coated, so that's nice and smooth. Um, but after, after we get these polished, it'll all be easy. So, step one, heavy, heavy paint correction on, the, on this part of the wing. All right, on to this. So you'll see on the left side, I already did a little test area. Um, I'm gonna get started with the TLC, the last cut, do a fast pass, high speed, high pressure, kind of refine it down and see um, how well we can get that finish. Then once we're happy with defect removal or scratch removal, then we'll do a finishing polish with hyper polish.
So these lenses, common PA46 issue, um, they're plastic, you can polish them, you just want to make sure you don't get them too hot. Um, the heat can cause crazing or even melt the plastic, so if you're going to use a rotary, use it at a lower RPM, don't use too much pressure. We're just going to start with the yellow pad hyper polish, see how that comes out. If we need more cut, we can always step it up to the wool pad, but either way, we're going to be running at minimum speed, which is six or 800 RPM on that tool and uh, light pressure and see where we get. After the wings are polished, panel wipe to remove any oils, and then coating. And that's all that was left on this plane. Hope you enjoy the end results. This is certainly a big turnaround and the owner was very happy with it. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next video.